Hey YouTubers, Electric Adventures here with uh, another pickups video. Now this one um, didn't come in a package or anything like that. I have my local um, collector's video game store. Um, now he's, he's only recently started up and he has a lot of figures and um, collectibles and comics and things like that. And he's he's had video games in there for a while. I mean he has quite expensive prices, but I suppose he's only starting out and things like that. I have bought the odd item off him here and there. Um, but also, because generally I don't find any success selling stuff on eBay anyway, I've taken most of my Master System spares in there and a few other games and put them in there and he allows you to sell them um, on basically on commission. So he sits in there and when he sells them, um, he gives you a fair percentage. And he's been selling a few of my Master System games. Um, so ring me up and... Um, basically said he had them and on two so this is from two occasions I've actually had these sitting aside for a little while just that the other videos I've been making I haven't had time to do them now one of them is fairly recent but the other three are from before so I'll do those first so this is a mega so basically I traded um, you know the money I got back from the Mars system games I then bought items from him store to both support him and keep him going so at least there is some that sort of a store and these aren't bad titles um, so really it hasn't really cost me anything because I wasn't going to get anything for the Mars system titles anyway unless I went through the pain of selling them on eBay which I wouldn't necessarily have done because of freight and everything like that so these titles aren't perfect but um, now I do like RPG games I don't get time to play them so I'm not saying I'm going to get to time to play these games anytime soon but these are games that I would love to play at some stage so these three games are all for the um, Mega Drive and the first one I think completes my Fantasy Star collection because uh, I've got number one on the Mars system I believe I've got two and three on the Mega Drive I'll have to check that and I'll annotate the video if I've made a mistake so we've got Fantasy Star 4 the case is in not too bad condition I haven't cleaned these or anything since I got them so it's, um, it's obviously PAL um, and open it up and it's got the instruction manual and the cartridge and the instruction manual is a little tatty because it's one of those fold out ones and like people with maps you've got to fold them the right way <laughs> so it's obviously been in a video store at some stage in its life um, and folded the right way that will obviously um, yeah, which I will do later and can I do it now there we go that's how it's supposed to go <laughs> so there's Fantasy Star 4 and as I said saying that I haven't actually finished the other Fantasy Stars I've probably played uh, the first one on the Master System the most um, with the vein of playing through these well I've got them all now so I've got no excuse but obviously the only excuse is time sorry about the cut there I lent on the keyboard and stopped the video um, and you didn't realize so this is the second time I'm doing this half uh, right now the next one uh, label is the shoot em up label with no booklet and I got very cheap is Buck Rogers and it actually is another role playing game um, I've seen one video of somebody playing this, um, but it look, just looked interesting. It was another role playing game, and I'm trying to collect the role playing games. Um, so, no booklet, of course. I believe the booklet for this might be fairly thick, too. So, um, nice big thumping cartridge, just a little bit of lift on the end there because it only, only has that little thin strip that goes around. But other than that, the you know, cartridge is in good shape. Um, and I said, you know, seriously wouldn't mind um, having a good go with that one day. And now the next one, which is the one that was the most expensive, well, relatively expensive, because this is all just trade-in stuff, um, is Shining Force. Now, this is the PAL one, of course. Uh, it's not the American one, which is worth lots of money. Um, I'm not, I can't even tell you how rare this is in PAL territories. It's actually quite a nice cover and everything like that and the graphics on the back look particularly good and it is complete and the manual's not perfect you still a little lift on the corner there but it's not in too bad condition and the cartridge is in 
really good condition. The manual, it's a nice thick manual. But inside it is black and white and in multiple languages. So very pleased at picking up those three RPGs um, for just you know some trade of some old Sega Master System games, which I probably wouldn't have got much money for anyway, selling them on eBay. Um, and then the other day I was in there, um, same thing, had a bit more trade value for me. Um, now I, he did have a copy of Axelé for in uh, NTSC for the SNES, uh, but he'd sold that. Uh, but he did have this one still on the shelf. Phalanx, so also another US import or NTSC version. It's obviously been through sticker hell. Now I have actually removed two stickers already. Um, you can see a bit of uh, sticky residue there. It was like a Velcro thing. I've taken it off uh, using the hairdryer, but I still need to get rid of that goo. Now the box is not too bad. I mean, it's a little tatty, and it obviously still does have more stickers on it. Um, but the banjo on the front, I think, turns a lot of people off the, to the fact that it is actually a side-scrolling shoot 'em up, and it doesn't look too bad. Um, and I don't think, you know, the local shop has a market at all for NTSC games because um, there's barely, you know, there's barely uh, that much supply of the power games around. Um, so, American viewers are probably seeing this manual, but it's. It's in colour, so which is, is fairly unusual for for manuals there, especially US ones and even power ones, which are multi-language and usually they just put lots of text in and no um, no colour. And there's the tray, uh, obviously doesn't have any of the other brochures and things like that, but the cartridge is in really good condition. There's virtually not a mark on it at all. I don't think you'll peel up this one little tiny wee little scratch mark which I can barely see just to the side of the banjo so in very good condition um, and I can play this both on my um, PAL SNES with um, the action replay adapter that I have or when I fix it the uh, SNES that um, Ed sent me from the US, so which I'm really um, looking forward to because then I'll be able to play the games at um, 60 hertz instead of 50 hertz, which I'm sure will make a lot of difference, especially to the shoot 'em ups. So really, for the SNES at the moment, I'm only shoot collecting shoot 'em ups, um, and you know, not going out of my way to get them. It's just that I had that trade credit and needed to use it on something. Uh, well, didn't have to. I could have taken it in cash, but. Um, I think it's the best way to get this sort of stuff locally anyway and I mean I don't think this cost that much if you bought it in the States complete anyway but um, it's still I don't think I've even with my trade value I've paid an unreasonable amount of money for it so um, and uh, yeah sites gone screwed up don't mind at all so all right let's go give those games a bit of a try with the uh, role-playing games I'll just we'll just go in and have a look, look at a little bit of the title and get into the start of the game, but uh, not going to do a large gameplay in any stretch of the imagination because it'll just make the video too long, but we'll have a good go at the shoot em up. Alright, let's go give him a try. Right, here we go with Phalanx. By Kemco, obviously. Just let it go into the intro a little bit. Nice bit of music. Nice to have a nice bit of true stereo music too. Very nice. Alright, let's get into it. Just leave the options as is it. So obviously you get four credits for continues. Horizontal shooter. Okay. A little bit 
find a button. Too hard to start with. sort of level in the gap or anything. I'll 
obviously the lasers don't do anywhere near as much damage as those missiles do. Okay, we're getting some sort of boss. Lost all my power ups and things, and you've destroyed the boss. And true end of it. There we go. That's not a too bad horizontal shooter. Um, even though I screwed up a little bit there, and um, doesn't look too hard to start with. I'm sure it gets harder on the next levels. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Oh, let's have a quick look at the um, uh, intro to the next section, and. Um, Pressing the normal button, continue, start, we'll, look, we'll continue and go with whatever it is on there because by the time I generated characters and things like that. Right, so we have a party and obviously just jump into a transporter. So you your party, you wander around, and here we go with a random encounter. Anyway, so 
Yeah, so you queue up your commands. Um, I'm not sure which is magic or anything, but there are great instructions. There we go, we had an encounter. So, I mean, obviously, you have your spellcasters and everything like that. And it's quite a colourful um, game. It's another town, you go and buy things and um, everything like that, and it's all very well rendered. So there we go, we can go in there and use the shop. And the menus are all very well defined and the characters are very nice, so... Um, I obviously need to play the previous Fantasy Star, so I've played a fair bit of Fantasy Star 1 on the Mars system. And now I've got the others, so at some stage when I get fun, I'll be able to play through it. Alright, let's try the next title. Next we have Buck Rogers and by SSI, which is one of my favourite game makers back in the day for the for the PC. So I've never seen this game before. stuff. Okay, so I now have control. It's sort of like you have, so that's a turn. So you decide on a movement and that's a turn. down here. Oh, we almost killed him. Not good. Thank you. 
few hits. Mem is the last target too, so... Oh, I lost somebody. So that this is, does remember the last target for each person. Just needs a bit of time. There we go, end of the counter. So it is turn based, a little bit different from the other ones. The team has found, we, um, we had somebody killed though. Oh yeah, a little bit of healing there. Definitely an RPG. Um, probably have to download the instructions uh, to learn out the ins and outs, but that one looks quite good fun and a uh, different flavour from the others. Alright, let's try the next one. So, our last game in this roundup is one that I've heard about a lot of online. I've never played this game or I've never even seen a gameplay, so. But I said I do like the. Um, the RPGs. So what I'll probably have to do is uh, start with something like this or or start again with any star, star and just um, concentrate on one game and work on, you know, continually um, have a regular go at it. So it's got a nice bit of background story here but so this video doesn't get too long. We'll get straight into it. Very nice graphics on this. Here we can speed it up. Yeah, no choice but new. like a Zelda game in that respect so far. Nice bit of intro music and a bit of story. Yeah, very good graphics indeed. Okay, talk, magic, item, search. See how the buildings are um, are rendered. I mean, once again, these sort of games you really need to um, okay. I'm not allowed to leave yet. We've obviously, got to do something first. But it really is really well rendered, so I so can see why people um, like this game so much. That's a bar. And that music is quite pleasant. Library. And play 
has to sleep. Don't go out there, of course. We've covered most of the buildings now. It's up this way. Okay, yeah, well, we're heading in the right space. There we go, um, yeah, I mean I won't spoil too much, sorry for people who haven't played it very much, but it looks like it's got very good graphics and I look forward to playing it in the future. Um, thank you for watching, thank you all my subscribers, and I'll catch you all later.